Hello, I'm Tony from Explore Crypto Channel and in this video we will use Zeus Wallet to connect through Tor to our Bitcoin and Lightning Network node on Raspberry Bit. In past videos, I was explaining how to set up Raspberry Beats, how to enable Tor, connect Electrum server, and how to open and balance channels. In last video, I was explaining how to bug up Lightning channels. So now, when we are secured from accidental loss of funds, let's connect our Raspberry Beats to a mobile wallet through Tor. I am an Android user, but the steps are almost identical for iOS users. The only difference may happen for the ports, but when using automatic Raspberry Beat connection, it shouldn't make a difference because it's all hard-coded already in. Uh, if you are a non-Tor user, write in the comments if you'd like to see separate instruction on how to connect your Raspberry Beats to a mobile wallet. First step would be to download Zeus Wallet and additional application or bot, which is for a Tor connection, from Google Play Store or from Zeus website. Now let's see the steps to make in Raspberry Beats console. Go to mobile and choose either Zeus for iOS or Zeus for Android. You should have already installed Zeus on your phone, so click continue. As we plan to use Tor, to Tor connection, we are not going to choose the IP to Tor bridge option. It's for people that want to translate their Tor address to ClearNet IP address. In the next screen, we confirm the usage of Tor connection. Now the next step may take some time as Golang and LND Connect are being installed. When it's installed, I suggest using the console QR code as the QR code on the Raspberry Beat screen may not be readable by some phones due to low resolution of these small Raspberry Pi screens. Now, for Windows users, you can use Ctrl and zoom in out with the mouse wheel and for Mac users, it's uh, Command plus or Command minus. When the QR is ready to scan on the screen, you can see like all of it, then on your mobile phone, open Orbot app. In settings, add the Zeus application to the list of Tor connected applications and start connection in Orbot. It may take few seconds and when it's connected, it's green, click on the Zeus icon to initiate the mobile wallet. Use the option scan LND Connect QR and accept camera permissions. Upon success, you have to confirm you understand the certificate verification and you want to save the config and escape this pop-up by clicking cancel. This was the most tricky part of Zeus interface, clicking this cancel button. And you can see your Raspberry Beats mobile representation if everything went right. So you will have balances, you will have uh, send, receive buttons. If you've done the previous steps and somewhat can't connect, either your camera can't pick up the QR code or there are some issues with the payload itself, here is a short manual installation process. I use OpenOM's instructions. Uh, they are linked in the description of this video. In Raspberry Beats menu, go to console. Create the hidden service by changing etc slash tor slash tor rc config, paste the payload from instruction and confirm by pressing ctrl plus x. Confirm changes by pressing y. Next, restart tor. In the next command, fetch the hostname. It should return you the string of characters being your tor address. Next two steps are optional as Raspberry Beats should have already installed Golang and LND Connect. Final step is to generate the LND Connect string. Use command LND Connect, replace the hidden service part with the hostname you copied from previous step, and confirm. It should return you the QR code. To get the payload, add dash J to the end of this command. I sent this payload to my phone in secure encrypted way, and in my phone I copied the 
string to, to the memory. So just copy this whole payload. Last step is to import it in Zeus. Open Orbot, connect to Tor and open Zeus app from the Orbot apps menu. Instead of scanning LND QR, click skip Tor. And if you copy the payload to memory, it should populate all the fields automatically. Confirm all the fields, press cancel and you should see the status of your Raspi Blitz node. After initial problems, I'm considering this process very easy and straightforward. From now on, I can enjoy my Raspi Blitz from outside of my home and in the next video, as a final video of this series, I will go to one of the Vancouver-based grocery stores and will buy something small with lightning. Wish me luck! If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section, share it around or press the thumbs up. If you like my content, consider subscribing. And most of all, keep hacking and have a great time.